Um, so anyway, I, and after this, I had worked for this clinic in California, and I loved it. Of course, I, and I was teaching water aerobics in January, and there's palm trees around me. <laughs> and I was like, this is why I'm here in January. I'm in the pool in January. You know, I loved it. I loved it, and I teach the elders there. That was really nice, and they were sharing... They'd share a lot about their experiences. Um, you know, when they were young, they were cleaning houses when they were, when they grew up, you know, they were cleaning the houses of the non-natives in that area. And then, and then, you know, eventually things got better for their communities and then eventually gaming came in. And so then they were doing much better and they could provide programs like what I was doing. You know, it was a heated pool, although we still had to wear wetsuits because it was still a little bit chilly. And um, it was an outdoor pool, and anyway, um, it, it, it was a wonderful experience. And but it made me think about okay, getting back to media and how can we um, uh, get these good, positive, loving, respectful, honorable messages out to the communities. And um, that's kind of where I'm at again. Um, um, so I, I have a son who's 22. He's actually, he chose to, to major in production, film production. I'm proud of him. He's at uh, Moorhead State, or Minnesota State University, Moorhead. And then he also wants to get a, some, uh, wants to work in, uh, do some work in international studies. But anyway, um, so he's out of the house. I, I did my job, I did my duty. And then my mom passed. And then I took care of my dad for four years. And um, so now, he, and then he passed. So now it's time to, you know, look toward what my future, you know, what, okay, now what? Where am I at? What do I want to do? You know, and, and how can I continue to, you know, um, be a positive beacon, you know, because there's so much going down now that's very different from when I was growing up. And, um, and they get it through here. So that's, uh, that's something that I'm really thinking a lot about. You know, um, everybody loves uh, the superheroes, for example. Well, we have our superheroes <laughs> in our culture. You know, it may not look like the modern contemporary Marvel superheroes, but... Uh, I'm I, I'm thinking, you know, hey, I want to do, you know, there are people that do comic, you know, they have, there is a native Comic Con and so on, but I think we need to do more with things like that, you know, and but you know, uh, but in the end, we are our own superhero. We need to put our victim to bed and wake up with our with our hero, you know, every day. Really, we have to do that.